Welcome back! And in the previous video, we presented some key aspects of why electrothermal management is important. And in this video, we will show you how easy it is to perform an electrothermal management analysis using HFSS and ice pack, using the EM2 ice pack wizard. So let's get started. Here is the AEDT interface and it's showing the twisted WR15 waveguide cavity. It's filled with FR4 epoxy as the dielectric material. And this waveguide is designed for use in the 5G millimeter wave application. In the intro to ANSYS HFSS getting started course, we use the HFSS default outer boundary condition of PEC, perfect electrical conductor. And this was sufficient for determining the modes that are propagating inside the waveguide cavity and for determining their cutoff frequencies, electrical characteristics. But in order to perform an electrothermal management workflow, we need to use real materials with real losses in order to calculate the waveguide losses that are due to its material properties. And in our ANSYS ETM workflow, we use HFSS to accurately determine where the current flow is. And this provides information to IcePack, our fluid solver, to characterize the heat losses to this electronic device. And the current flow in a waveguide is on the metal walls, as there's no other outer conductor. Therefore, we need to now model the outside metal housing of the waveguide, something that is a less than perfect conductor, aluminum, is a good choice. And here's the updated geometry model with an aluminum metal housing. Now it covers the FR4 dielectric waveguide cavity, the inside. And the input and the output ports are defined as shown below. The analysis setup is defined as follows. Again, same as in the previous model setup. Here's the frequency sweep. Now, after analyzing this model, Let's view the EM simulation results. Here's the S parameter plot, the phase constant plot, and the electric field animation for the first mode, which is overlaid on the model geometry. Nice visualization. And the resulting curves for the HFSS simulation with the default PEC boundary condition. And now with the aluminum housing, the results are comparable. They're almost on top of each other. So let's look at some of the details of this model. In the project manager window, right mouse click on excitations and select edit sources. In that pop-up window, you see that the excitation was set to five watts. Close the window and the field calculator is used to evaluate the surface and volume loss of the simulation model. Click on the HFSS menu on the top ribbon, select fields, and then calculator to open the field calculator interface. This pops up in a new window. And remember, well, you can also open the field calculator from the project manager window. Always more than one way to do something in AEDT. Right mouse click on the field overlays and select calculator. Under input, click quantity and select surface loss then. Now click on the geometry and select surface. Select the waveguide underscore outer, which represents the waveguide metal walls. Click OK. And under scalar, click integrate. Under output, click evaluate, eval. And then we have the surface losses calculated in watts. And similarly, Let's go and calculate the volume loss density. Select waveguide underscore inner, and this represents the waveguide cavity volume, both the surface loss and the volume loss. These are the EM losses of the model determined by HFSS, and we're going to use them to compare or verify the ice pack results those that are calculated with the fluid solver. The surface loss on the metal walls is due to the finite conductivity of the conductors of the metal and the volume loss in the dielectric cavity, which is due to the dielectric losses or retention of the material. Our HFSS simulation is now set, so let's go move on to the ice pack simulation. And the simplest way of doing this is to use the EM to ice pack act extension. And this automatically creates the ice pack model from the HFSS electromagnetic simulation model. 
With the EM to Ice Pack Act extension installed, simply click on the View tab, select Act extension. The Act homepage appears. Select Launch Wizard. Select EM to Ice Pack Wizard. And when the EM to Ice Pack dialog box pops up, just be sure that the appropriate HFSS Waveguide project and its design and set up, show up in the project text box. You can always have more than one design. Make sure the correct one is selected. Select no to the two-way coupling and keep everything else as defaults. Go ahead, select launch, and you'll see the progress bar move. You'll see windows automatically appear. And the analysis has been launched. And once the analysis has completed, you'll see that both a temperature profile and a velocity plot appears. See below. It's simple and easy an electrothermal analysis workflow using the EM to Ice Pack Wizard. In our next video, we'll show you how to download and install the ACT extension, this EM to Ice Pack ACT extension, and then show you a manual step-by-step -step setup of this workflow, what went on behind the scenes. Thank you for watching this video on the model preparation for the electrothermal management workflow using the EM to Ice Pack Wizard. For more videos on HFSS or Ice Pack or any ANSYS tools, please go to courses.ansys.com today.